Everybody makes it. When I only need the best is in the building. When I only need the best, I want to send them up for DJ in Boston. No Spencer, no party. You like, don't know. No now. Chama, I need to stop saying the listening to DJs. You never hear about. My alias is DJ Spencer, Mr. Luda. I play on my piano, I play Afro House dance hall. I know people who they check out. Everybody make way for that one, I only need the best. You need to wait for that one. So they back manager shout to Osana. I'm sorry, Charlie Poppy. Like, I love you so much. I want people to shout my name. I know for for bad things or not for bad things for good things. <laughs> play. So this nonsense, nonsense things I'm doing my battle like at the time I was so shy. My <laughs> first cover picture has been the worst picture I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Can I do my, my son shit? I'm DJ Spencer, Mr. Luda. No Spencer, no part. Yeah. If you want to start music, sing. But ask your friends, <laughs> music is good. Yeah. When I was in SS1, I changed my Instagram name from my opens one day I'm going to blow. You guys watch this video, watch the IVO video, watch the sensational video, watch everything. My real name is Spencer Ikuru. Lawrence. Actually, Lawson, not Lauren. My real name is Spencer Ikuru. My real name is Lawson. My alias is DJ Spencer, Mr. Luda. DJ no Hot Sprick. That's not my DJ name. <laughs> <laughs> that name, yeah. When I first started, like, with my guys, and they were asking me one name. I was just saying all forms of random names. Like, it was a joke. Well, not actually a joke at first, but they, they didn't take me seriously. So anyone, you can have any name as long as it catches on. Mm -hmm. Like, Charlie Poppy sounds so stupid. But it's going mm -hmm. to catch on. I'm sorry, Charlie Poppy. Like, I love you so much. I can't be, I can't be gay. I can't be gay. But I love Charlie Poppy. I can't be gay. Are you not ashamed of yourself? <laughs> I've been DJing for one year, four, five months, I'm not sure. Like, since when? If you're being real, then December, I started like proper DJing mm -hmm. in December. But, like, all this nonsense, nonsense, things. like, without proper training, I was just trying different things on virtual DJ on my laptop. That was like November, November. yeah, that's when I started doing DJing. So, yeah. All these nonsense, nonsense things I'm doing my laptop. Like at the time, I was so shy. But I became who I am, like maybe September last year. That's when I knew that okay, I was, I'm actually kind of good at what I'm doing. <laughs> My first cover picture has been the worst picture I've ever seen in my life because <laughs> they asked me a cover picture, I didn't have a cover picture. Then and I went to my guy's house, Ali, and then we just snapped one rubbish like this and sent it to them. But I mean Sha, you know these grass to great stories now. Damn. That's why I don't delete it. <laughs> How did it happen? If I'm being very honest with you, I don't know how it happened. But from what I can remember, I was DJing one random day. You know, there's Hamba way now, there's Smada. Like, like, those mm -hmm. are two songs. Was now. it like at home or at an event? It was at the event now. Mm -hmm. So I was just randomly DJing. I didn't have any plans of adding Spencer into it because I didn't even think of it myself. So I was just DJing and then I think Dicey, like one of the guys, Shout out idea. to Dicey, actually. Actually, shout out to Dicey. Dicey is the life of the party. I swear. You make a 409, yeah. Try. So I was just DJing and the guy was just saying all forms of rubbish, as he always says now, you know. You know, it was going smart that because the song just came out. Mm -hmm. And then the guy was saying, started saying, Spencer is Spencer. And then, to be fair, smart is two syllables, Spencer is two syllables. Mm -hmm. So it just made sense mm -hmm. that. And then he just caught on. Next event we had, that one was actually planned. I said today, say, today, today, today. I was they must shout song. it. And I did it too. And everybody was so.
think it was the Halloween party. Oh, the entire Halloween party. That was yeah. the first time. Yeah, that I heard my name. Because I feel like normally like, at all these parties, we say DJ, we want to party. And I felt mm -hmm. like, it's one day, I want to hear my name at the party. Like, I want people to shout my name. You get what I'm saying? I'm not for bad things, or not for bad things, for good things. <laughs> they play. God have mercy upon us. <laughs> I'm not able to hear my name, to shout my name. Okay. I'm there to be heard. Yeah. <laughs> and then, I don't see to be Spencer, we want to party, because every single event you go, both on YouTube, like, if I search YouTube now, you'll see that, oh, DJ, want to party, and mm -hmm. I don't want that to happen. Like, yeah. there's something different. Okay, I'm lying to you guys, it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Just a bubble, that's like your slogan it makes it, now. Yeah, yeah it makes my aunt Emo, no Spencer, no party. She like, don't know, no now. Is that I see? Life of the party. This is the life of the party. I swear. You make a 409, yeah. You are dicey today. Life of the party. <laughs> How fun now. I didn't know you were coming. Where are you going home? I'm coming to your house. You're coming to my house. Uh, right now, we'll go now. We'll go. Alright. My bro. Yeah, why are you holding it like a girl now? Why are you holding it like a girl now? Why are you holding it like a girl now? Why are you holding it like a girl now? Why are you holding it like a girl now? This guy, don't I say that Spencer? Yeah, I don't even know what entered this guy. Yeah, no, no shaking, no, no, no shaking. Life shaky, of no the shaky. party. That's don't worry. Always. Period. Come here, my, my sonship. The ninth. Sonship is not about. Oh, yeah, now wait. No, they will laugh at me. Because you can't even see normally. I, I, swear, I can't see normally, so yeah, let's, let's run it, let's run it. <laughs> Chill, I'm coming. I'm the, I'm the middle of something now. Because I know he's always sold out. Chill, I'm the middle of something. When I'm done, I'll, I'll oh, attend to you. Oh, God. How many pieces do you want? Three. Okay. So, what are like the struggles you faced? And like you're facing. Struggle as number a DJ. one is the sound. Like, I mean, like the venues and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. They try their best, but like sometimes like, the sound is always messed up. That's one, two, the crowd. I feel like. Living in Debrison and having most of my gigs in Debrison, I have a limited crowd. So even if I try to diversify my mix, it's still going to be kind of the same thing in Koba. As yeah. long as I can try my best to make it. I feel like that's one of the reasons why they keep booking me because I still try my best to still get the vibe of I play on my piano, I play Afro House, dance or and I say like playing hip hop because I played I actually never played at the white party to you I think February twenty third, like last month. <laughs> I had my first gig with Visit Me and then I played like at um you know a hip hop party and it was very nice so I won't lie, it was very very nice. Tiny <laughs> deck is quite expensive. Ah, I mean no good things don't come easily. Neither. My mom don't know this one. But when I started to change, right? I didn't even tell her. Initially, because I don't know, Nigerian moms now. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, she's supposed to also for sure. But she sends my allowance. Like, my mom, my mom does send my allowance. Now, it's for allowance by deck. How'd you survive? Oh, I survive. Person. <laughs> no, like, obviously, now I'll still have like little money left. Fair. That month, eh? Shiggy. Oh my Larry. <laughs> that month, I saw something about the money I used to buy the deck. I've made back that money, like, multiples. Where did you keep my money? Let me tell you, Kupu. By the time I finish with these people, you know that I'm a sharp guy in business. I'm a hustling dada. But then I had this guy, John. Like, I could pay for the boat I wanted to go. Like, the guy was just supporting me because I won't lie. Most of my friends are laughing at me. I tell them, let's be a DJ. So this guy will literally just say, okay, okay, let me just book your boat now. Come mm -hmm. back to. So this guy used to book my boat, like, almost every day. On some days I wasn't around. Like, I would literally walk from Kashai to Augusta. And it was very cool. I was holding my deck, my gloves. Yeah, it was winter. But I mean, it's both each other. But I promised my guy, John, that as long as you booked my boat, I didn't even tell him at the time. But mm -hmm. whenever I realized that I was always booking my boat for me, I promised myself that uh, for each event I have, if I get a free ticket, I'm definitely giving it to him. Because yeah. it only makes sense that this guy helps me yeah. achieve my dream. <laughs> What was like the idea? What gave you the idea? You're like, oh, I think I want to start DJ. I'm being very honest there. Eh? Plenty things. I feel like there were signs. 
one day I was just going through Apple Music and I was what, reading, um, listening to this guy's mix. I was in Augusta back mm -hmm. in the day. That was like the student hostel here. Mm -hmm. And then the mixing was so crazy. I was like, I want to try this. She's like on a proper deck, mm -hmm. no on normal thing, yeah. But at the same time, there's this Solatido guy that I used to go for his events and stuff. And that guy was, yeah. the guy was busting my head every single time. And I just like the fact that the guy was just making me happy. And then I realized that if DJ makes people happy, I like making people happy. So mm -hmm. what else? If I'm doing what I'm, I love doing and I'm making people happy doing it, then it just makes more sense. Mm -hmm. So I contacted you. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you that I'm going out to DJ. Mm -hmm. And then you told me that you can link me with Solatido. Mm -hmm. Which I felt like was I feel like they were whining me if I'm being very honest. Jesus. Because, because, you don't you have faith in me. You don't even No, because you, you didn't know Solatido. I but did, then, but like from a third party view. Like, this girl. You don't rate this me. No, no, girl. no. We're going to reevaluate this friendship. <laughs> this girl, you're annoying me. You're annoying me. That's your business. You're annoying me. Yeah. <laughs> How do you balance this DJing with school? How do you balance with school? Um, school is Monday to Friday. Gig is Friday to Sunday. Yeah. That's easier as possible, yeah. Actually, but any so gig like, that's going to interfere with my school, I'm not going to accept it. That's right, so any forthcoming DJ, not that. Um, basis, any forthcoming DJ that's a student, yeah, not that. To drag us yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so what we advise anybody that wants to like start, start DJing, DJing, that kind of thing. Someone that just starts like, in. What should I advise someone who wants to be a DJ? Yeah, right. and you know, that kind of thing. The only advice I can give you is to start. Yeah. Just start doing it because at the end of the day, you have nothing to lose now. I mean, as long as you know, I mean, what's, what's, that what's that could happen? What's happen? You text event organizers and they won't they will answer you. you right? yeah. I mean, for each organizer that doesn't answer you, and that one is going to answer you. I'm DJ Spencer, Mr. Luda, no Spencer, no party. I feel like at the end of the day, yeah. Obviously, this is like what I love doing, but mm -hmm. everybody loves money now. So I'm mostly not doing it for the money. Of course, I am. You are. But that's not like that's yeah, primary. Yeah, yeah. Right? But like you like what <laughs> you do. Like, yeah. yeah. So it's more or less like I'm getting money for free because I'm doing what I love doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just getting money. For example, now today, I'm, I have an event this evening, and all I'm doing is DJing. That's what I do mm -hmm. all day. In your free time. I'm getting money for it too. So yeah. I'm doing nothing. I'm getting money for it. That's good money. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Maybe I should start back. Like. Yeah. That's basically. So if you want to start DJing, start. Just do it. If you want to start music, sing. But ask your friends if your <laughs> music is good. Right. Because I feel like mm -hmm. I feel like I'm that Genuine friend. Friends, people that will tell you the truth. So no, I'm not that type of friend. I'm that, I'm that friend that if your music is bad, I say, bro, it slaps. I don't know. But, <laughs> but, I'm not. I'm but not. That, I would just not say anything. I said DJing. Uh, I was mixing the no, most nonsense thing. And then, if you want to start this type of thing, yeah, just mm -hmm. don't start. Have people who are there around, like, play mm -hmm. in front of your friends. Mm -hmm. I'm playing rubbish. You'll be like, hey, mm -hmm. Spencer. Like, <laughs> and then he used to send snaps. I'll be sending snaps. Yeah. Like, I used to record myself. I'll mm -hmm. send it back to Solatido. Oh, yo, bro, check this out. Mm -hmm. And then Solatido was very genuine with me. He told me, oh, my guy. He would say it in the root mm -hmm. view. Mm -hmm. like, oh, my guy, this, this mix is not it. <laughs> and then just try it again. Or you tell me, like, a better idea. Okay, enter at this point. And then, yes, 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 yes. This guy, Yakat. Mm. And so, Yakat has been DJing for long. When I started DJing, I think Yakat was also learning at them, but Yakat mm. started learning before me. Yeah. But so, obviously, he knew how to do these things when I'm in now. Sometimes, mm -hmm. like, so I leave me say, we'll do some self practice. And I'll be messing up, like, I won't know what button is for what button. I was so scared on the deck. But now I'm free with it now. I can close my hand to it. You should. They already knew me as Spencer. Mm. So, obviously, if one random person is like, DJ, DJ Wild West, DJ Sound God, or DJ something. Did. Like, they'll be like, okay, who is this nigga? Like, who is right. this guy? Well, DJ Spencer, people already knew me as Spencer now. So, even mm -hmm. the ones that didn't know me, eventually they'll know me as my real name mm -hmm. and as my mm -hmm. stage name as well. So, it just made more sense with DJ Spence. Yeah. And I like it, obviously. Because also, also, when I was in SS1, I changed my Instagram name from Mal Spencer. Please don't ask me my name was Mal Spencer. Like, I don't know why. Mal Spencer. Yes, like, I don't know why. It was used to malfunction. Yeah, it means. Is... No, like, it's all these secondary school things now. Mm. You know, Spencer, all these kind of things now, mm. you know. 
So that was like my Instagram name, but it says one during COVID, I changed it to my phone name, Spencer Crew, because I knew that one day I'm going to blow. And I don't, <laughs> I don't want to start changing my name when mm -hmm, I blow, because mm -hmm. what if the name is taken? Mm -hmm. Now Instagram works now, so I mm -hmm. changed my name. I knew that one day I'm going Spencer to blow. Spencer the menace. Because you're actually a menace, you know that. I mean, on the deck, I'm a menace. I don't know about... To the society. To the society. At large. I mean, it, to be fair, sure, I give them good music. I make them misbehave. So yeah, I'm a menace. And you misbehave. But, right. but you guys, you guys should watch. You guys watch this video. Watch the IVO video. Watch the sensational video. Watch everything and follow my Instagram, Spencer Guru. It's going mm -hmm. to be down. I'm not starting posting yet because, fresh, yes, because fresh. I'm not fresh enough. And I don't have beers. When I have beers, I'll start posting. But my highlights, check my. Yeah. No, no, I'm going to have beers by like next year, December. So yeah, yeah let's go, let's go, let's go.